There are many amazing characters in Watch Dogs Legion that you can already get very early in the game. So in this video I want to showcase these characters and also tell you how to easily get them. So a like on the video would really help the channel out and let's go. I'm giving away Watch Dogs Legion credits so you can get an outfit pack in the shop without paying. All you need to do is click the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win. Be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter and good luck. The first recruit you want to get is a mechanic. Someone you'll actually need for an early main story mission called reporting for duty. So maybe you already got a character like this. If not, then it's smart to get one before even completing that reporting for duty main mission. Because after completing this mission, your operatives will be timed out when they die or die completely if you play on the permadeath mode. While without completing this mission, you can just retry and continue playing the mechanic. Again, if you're already past this point, it's no big deal. But if you can still wait before completing the reporting for duty mission, then it's totally worth it. You can namely already explore the full open world of London and we want to do that with the mechanic because they can summon a cargo drone, so a free flying vehicle at any point that you can then use to get to many of the borough objectives, the red icons on the map that are all over London and they are very often on top of buildings. Sure, there are ways to climb up, but it's way easier to summon the cargo drone and get the job done that way. The mechanic can also very easily hold its own thanks to the wrench for powerful melee attacks and the nail gun is a pretty good lethal solution for enemies as well. That's really the first thing I did in Watch Dogs Legion and that I can recommend to anyone. Clear all these red icons with a mechanic to then unlock all the burrow missions. Complete those burrow missions that are pretty diverse by the way, mostly involved like controlling drones or vehicles. But it's all about the reward, because every region you complete gives you a very strong operative. You already actually get one by just following the main story, a hacker that has the very strong hack. So basically another ability to interrupt enemies compared to the disrupt hack skill that you unlock for tech points. The hacker can steal keys from an unlimited range, which is amazing too, so you don't have to like toy around with cameras or the spider bots. It can also occasionally get crypto from hacking around. Really an amazing character, again everyone can have it early on and then I did not even mention the viral hacking that when you hold the button can affect a larger radius. But again don't stop there, I would really liberate every borough in the game as soon as possible like for the city of Westminster you get a spy who is very good thanks to being physically fit so you take less damage. They also have a spy watch which can jam enemy weapons, like multiple weapons even. You can also summon a spy car, which is really fast, has a cloak as well and can fire missiles to surrounding targets. So if you are in for that type of mayhem, you can do it. But for regular encounters, the spy is great for stealth, thanks to the silenced pistol as well. And I can really continue. You can also get a hooligan for doing the burrow objectives. You can summon his friends to help you out, so it's way easier to knock out enemies you can also drink something and get drunk and then take less damage it's just a fun character to go in and punch some things although i want to touch on more really strong melee characters you can already get early in a second first let's touch on the drone expert who i also really like thanks to the powerful shock drone that you can just send out to already take care of many enemies before even entering the area yourself they also have a homing drone that is otherwise like a gadget, so now you can use it as well. It's super lethal, so careful for that. You can betray drones, so they become your ally. And the short hack cooldowns are nice too, so you can hack things more often. And there are other benefits for clearing the burrows as well. It will namely reveal all the tech points in the area, so you can more easily focus on these points to unlock many of the skills. I, by the way, did a video with all the best tech skills that I will link to in the pinned comment for if you want to watch it. And by the way, another benefit for clearing all the burrows is that people in that area will be easily recruitable because they kind of like that sec because they liberated the region. So again, I think it's really important to focus on the burrows as soon as you can. But there are also other ways to already get powerful characters really early on. One is by simply entering this code on the Watch Dogs Legion redeem page. And I will, by the way, leave the code in the video description and a link to this redeem page as well. You have to be locked in with your Ubisoft Connect account, of course, that you also use 
it's inside the game. And if you still were inside the game, I would recommend rebooting it and also make sure that you got room in your team so this YouTuber can enter. Because yes, Ubisoft made a character based on Spanish YouTuber Rubius. Even if you don't know the guy, it will still be fun to unlock him because he has some handy perks like being able to summon a news drone, it's a celebrity after all. So this can be handy to already scout the area before you engage. And then when you do engage, you can use the truncheon to hit enemies and he has a paintball gun as well. It's not as nice against like riot drones, like it will take some time to destroy those. But against regular enemies, it's actually a really solid gun. Also cool is that the outfit he's wearing will be unlocked for every other operative in the game. If you just go to the wardrobe inside any shop. There's actually a grey black version of this outfit as well that you can also run around in. Like I've never seen a video from this person but I still think it's a nice character to get for inside your team and otherwise just for the awesome unique cosmetics. Another way to get amazing early operatives is by going to the bare knuckle arenas. You'll actually already find a side mission for this very close to the safe house early on in the game. Just interact with that to have the mission appear including all the five locations of each arena that you can then already visit from the start and it can be nice to do these challenges with someone who takes less melee damage thanks to the mouth guard perk although even without a perk like that you will still easily manage I think and you want to complete it because then you will actually be able to recruit the fighters you just defeated and the one in Camden is very strong so there are two bosses in this one. One has the shockwave that I think actually all the fighters have. And the glass cannon is an interesting risk reward perk. But the emit here is even better with just like less melee damage. And also increased the damage after a dodge. So really powerful characters to get. The one in Nine Elms, the champion there is also really good. It gives you tear gas that you can then use to stun enemies. But you can just go in because you got gas immunity. And then take out the enemies with the shockwave strike too. And full melee with this character is really nice because then you also charge your gadgets. So you can turn invisible faster for example. Really really nice. Good to know though is that there seems to be a bug with the bare knuckle arena right now. If you go into these arenas with a full team. So without being able to save anyone to your contact list anymore. Then the screen at the end will not show the perks for most characters. And then you will actually not be able to add them. So. Hopefully they will fix this soon, but yeah, keep that in mind before doing this activity. And also good to note is that all the fighters will of course look different, but they will still have the same perks for each arena. And the same goes for the Burrow characters as well. You will likely have a completely different looking anarchist than me, but it will still be the same in terms of perks. So yeah, totally go get these characters. Again, you can all do it very early in the game, like the first few hours. If you found other cool characters in the game or other secrets, then totally let me know in the comments down below. Or you can also email me to the input at giraffe.com email address. All the input is welcome and if I use your information, I will of course shout you out in the next video as well. Subscribe for way more Watch Dogs Legion content if you haven't already. Got way more coming your way. A like on the video would really help the channel out. Totally check my previous big Watch Dogs Legion video by clicking on the screen. And I also got links to my second YouTube channel with raw gameplay and way, way more in the pinned comments. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.